Rolling down the boulevard in the speed of bowl cold there. Like a tail on a tornado ring to promise so can swear. One hand on the glass pipe. The other on the wheel. Devil riding shotgun. Singing, boy, let's make a deal. This is Groundless, a Justified podcast. This is a podcast where we watch every episode of Justified and then come on here and talk about it. I'm Chris. That man is Randy. God, Boyd was just chewing up the scenery. Or I guess Walter <laughs> Cock is just chewing up the scenery in this uh, episode. Huh? Boy, is he ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely He's... is. Some great moments from Boyd. And, and that's I've, I've kind of broken up the, uh, the discussion this week into plot segments because I think trying to follow the chronology of the episode is impossible. But, uh, yeah, but breaking no. it down into plot segments does work. So, yeah, we're here. To discuss season six, episode seven. This is the uh, this is what the the daylight savings time or daylight saving time or standard time hangover edition of the Justified <laughs> or the Groundless <laughs> podcast. I am uh, I am operating at about sixty percent capacity right now. I think they really need to get rid of it. Seriously, <laughs> it just messes up. I forgot the study I saw. It was like an article talking about how many more accidents are caused. Oh by, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, because because uh, now, like in, in San Diego, at least now, when you're driving home from work, the sun's right in your face the entire time, <laughs> and and in a in a month from now, it'll just be dark, and it's yeah, yeah it's just yeah, <laughs> no good, no good, and and what the we've we've passed laws and propositions and everything else to get rid of it, and what is the what have our politicians done? Ignore this entirely, yep. ignore this. Yeah. Which tells you who they actually work for. Yeah. Uh, uh, who you vote. <laughs> Not the voters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, season six, episode seven, The Hunt. This episode originally aired March 3rd, 2015. And our synopsis this week, a visit from his baby daughter threatens to pull Raylan away. Uh-oh, I think we, uh, did, did I lose you there for a second? I can hear you. Oh, okay, you good. I, I got a message that it disconnected, but... All right, we'll try that again. A visit from his baby daughter threatens to pull Raylan away from the hunt for a dangerous fugitive. Boyd, having learned that Ava's been lying to him, takes her on a hunting trip that she may never come back from. I feel like that's a spoiler. Like, if that was the original episode description, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I think that that shouldn't, shouldn't be there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. the last the end of the last episode was we saw uh, Boyd on the phone with Limehouse, and we don't know exactly what Limehouse told him, but... Now we do. <laughs> so yep. uh, this episode written by Taylor Elmore and Keith Schreier, both uh, uh, people we've heard of, heard from before. Uh, and then uh, directed by John Dahl, who does uh, one episode a season. So this is his last uh, last episode of Justified here. Uh, no guest stars this week. We've pretty much covered pretty much everybody we've got a few more that will uh, that will hit on as the uh, as the last few episodes uh, uh, play out but we've gotten everybody in Markham's gang we've gotten pretty much everybody in Boyd's gang so we're uh, we're co- we're covered on guest stars and there's too much going on this week uh, in this episode for for us to be distracted by guest stars I guess you could call <laughs> Natalie Z a guest star in this episode <laughs> at this point yeah yeah she is yeah you know it's because like we're episode seven so we're halfway or more than one episode more than halfway I guess right yep. is that right yep. six yeah. episodes so. left yeah and there's so. no breaks between now i this this episode represents the point at which there is no more breaking <laughs> like like there's no more it's all action all the time between now and the end of the season no no yeah. time to take a deep breath yep yep so uh all right well that gets us through our episode basics which means it's time to jump quickly into the delorean and take a quick trip back to the week of march 3rd 2015 and see what was going on in pulp culture are you telling me that you built a time machine DeLorean? Our number one movie this week is a new one. Uh, so you'll remember Fifty Shades of Grey uh, was the last the last uh, big movie. This one is Focus. It's uh, Will Smith and Margot Robbie. Now, I haven't seen this movie, but I know it's about a con man. I know he's yeah. a con man and she's a con woman, I think. And there's like, yeah. a, you know, a, a, a romantic subplot, I'm sure. I, I can only imagine. <laughs> 
Uh, I wonder if she, you know, just bangs his friends and <laughs> tells everybody <laughs> about it. <laughs> Now, <laughs> remember when, uh, like, that Barbie movie came out and people were calling Margot Robbie mid? Like, no, I people swear. were calling her mid. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, These damn, are stupid Gen Z, Gen Alpha people. Yeah. They don't know anything. <laughs> it's, it's off, it's mid, off. yeah, yeah is that crazy? She's a ten, like, an absolute ten. Like, yeah. Uh, Consensus ten. She's a consensus ten. I, yeah, that's that's our uh, yeah. <clears throat> like she's like Jessica Alba circa two thousand eleven or something. <laughs> Jessica Alba circa two thousand two. Is two thousand two? Has she been around that long? Yes. Oh, you she know what? Has. You know why I know that? Because one of the guys why? we used to work with was obsessed with her. Oh yeah, <laughs> remember that? Yeah, yeah. And that was that was 2001, 2002, so, two thousand one, two thousand two. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, that movie uh, hauled in a big uh, whopping twenty four million this week uh, in uh, twenty fifteen yeah. to uh, <laughs> to lead the box office. So, not a great week for cinemas <laughs> the uh, week of March third, twenty fifteen. Yeah, you know, because Will Smith is still uh, like back then. That was he was still uh, oh, yeah. up there. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Margot he did Robbie the too. he did the yeah. concussion movie around that time. He did the. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the guy donating his organs movie around that time. I mean, he he got nominated for an Oscar, I think. Did uh, he right around that time? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure because he did the one with his kid with a kid, right? The Karate Kid. No, no not the Karate kidding. No, the one. Uh, <laughs> I know the, the one where he's homeless or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah him and it, yeah. So I think he got nominated for that movie. I, you know, he's yeah, he's he was <laughs> he was making really good serious movies. Yeah, the ba- where he was the caddy, the black caddy. <laughs> oh, that? yeah. Well, that's that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to use the word. It just starts with magic, uh, <laughs> and yeah, it's shameful. Actually, yeah. <laughs> that movie. I, yeah, I can't even think of any. Uh, like I've seen what Men in Black. I can't think of any Will Smith movies off the top of my head that I've actually watched through. Yeah, uh, Independence Day. Independence Day. Yeah. And the Men second in Black. Independence Day. And the second. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Is there any other ones? I don't know. I just Wild Wild <laughs> West. Oh yeah. Wild Wild yeah. But that was a that wasn't that great of a movie no. though. No, but that had Salma Hayek in it. She's hot. Yeah, she's magnificent. Yeah. Still is. Still is. She's yeah. Yeah, she's very obviously drinking the blood of of infants. <laughs> exactly. At, at whatever fifty eight or whatever, looking like she does. Ridiculous. Bad boys. Bad boys. Bad was good. I like boys. That. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a trilogy too, <laughs> and I just love that. It's so dumb. You know. Did I tell you about the, about the cab driver in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> when oh, I went no. to Miami, when I went to Miami last year, the cab driver was talking about like all the all the crime and drugs in Miami or whatever. Because we had to take a we had to take a, a car from the Fort Lauderdale airport to Miami Beach because it was it's like a forty five minute fifty minute drive. Uh-huh. And uh, he's talking about it, and I go, "Oh yeah, you know what? I remember I watched this documentary about crime in Miami. I think it was called Bad Boys. <laughs> <laughs> he called it a documentary." <laughs> <laughs> the guy That's fantastic. Goes, the guy starts cracking up. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That, I, that's I, pretty good. <laughs> that's. <laughs> so. I can't think of any other. Yeah, I'm looking at his filmography. I'm like, eh, yeah, I Robot, I Am Legend. Nah, that movie sucked. I Am Legend also sucked. I don't yeah. know. I, I'm. Yeah, I'm I'm more content to make fun of him now for being a, a weird cock than I am for anything else. Like, <laughs> oh my god, that's I feel I actually have like I'm kind of I have a little sympathy for him, I, but I, you know I, I do too. But yeah. at some point, you gotta you know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta nut up or shut up. I think is the the saying, right? Yeah. Like you cannot just let your your wife. Who's not even really your wife? Like she's she's out there saying all this stuff without anyone saying anything else, which is very strange, right? It's totally strange, strange. Just airing all the dirty laundry in public. 
like uh, just making him look like a well, I don't know, maybe he's in, maybe that's what he's into. Maybe he's like a, a humiliation uh, guy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We talked about that before we came on here, yeah, no, but speaking of I mean, that could be what's going on there, but I don't know. I don't uh, know. But, yeah. But that was focus number one movie in uh, March 3rd, 2015. <laughs> I might check that one out. I, I actually might check that one out. I do like that Margot Robbie. I think she's whew. Yeah. She's a really good actress too. Not only she's is good she actress, hot, yeah. she's a really good actress. Yeah. I like her in the uh the Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah. The, uh, yep. Yeah. Where she was Sharon Hollywood Tate. Yeah, time. it was great. Yeah. And she played yeah. a she played a great a, a very convincing, I think, Sharon Tate because she was in their fake movie of that Sharon Tate was in too. So yeah, that that's right. Nice. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> and then of course we got the scene with Quentin and her feet in the movie theater. <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, he had to. <laughs> I I like the way that he portrayed like the uh, like uh, the dirty hippies. Like oh the, yeah, you know the Manson. Yeah, yeah. The, that, those are the hippies that are just disgusting, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. very well done. Smell them from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> yep. And uh, yeah, I, I'm excited for the new movie. I don't know, uh, you know, the the critic movie that he's got coming out. Oh, or he's working you know on right now. Getting... Oh, uh, uh, it's it's so. not. There's no release date or anything for it. He's he's working on it right now. I'm not even sure it's been completely casted yet. But uh, hmm. so, and then uh, a number one top forty song. I'll give you three guesses. The first two don't count. It is indeed still Uptown Funk in its eighth week. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. <laughs> Number one was uh, uh, we're yeah because it, it's probably going to just keep on going. You said right? I think so. I, I I've really tried. I haven't looked ahead yet um, because I want to surprise myself. So I suspect that it's going to be all the way through the run of the final season of Justified. But it could something. It could get dethroned here any at any moment. As far as I know, yeah. seeing the songs that are behind it, it looks like most of them have already had their day. That's the that's the thing. So, uh, yeah, well, I wonder if there's anything nothing coming. ascendant. It doesn't appear that anything's coming out coming for the title yet. Yeah. Hmm. So, all, all right. right. Well, that's uh, that's our trip back to the week of March third, twenty fifteen. So let's let's without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode. So I've broken it up into three main stories. Right. I think we have the Boyd Ava story. We have the Raylan Winona story, Raylan Winona and uh, Willa story, and we have the uh, Walker Manhunt, and the Walker Manhunt sort of overlaps a little bit the uh, the Raylan Winona story, but it doesn't affect the Boyd story at all. So I figure yeah. we open up with Boyd here because it probably gives us the, the most to talk about uh, is the Boyd story. So the last we saw, <clears throat> Boyd had gotten a call from Limehouse, and uh, he said, hey, do you know what Ava was up to uh, yesterday? And all Boyd remembered, of course, was that he got home and Raylan Givens was in his house. So he's probably very interested to hear what Limehouse has to say. We don't see the end of that conversation, but we do see Boyd after dinner with Ava uh, doing like a sort of horny Boyd horny sort of thing. <laughs> it's a little odd, uh, but he, uh, he packed a suitcase uh, for Ava to go with him to the hunting cabin in Bulletville because tomorrow is the first day of boar season and uh, it's time to hunt some pig. Boyd says, and uh, he wants to, he wants to go up there with his fiance. So they, uh, they take a little trip up to Bulletville and they get there and it's late, 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 late at night um, because they don't leave until after dinner. It's already uh, late. And Boyd is uh, Boyd's being weird the whole time, right? I mean, he's he's acting very strangely. He's saying weird things to Ava. Ava is very on edge, right? She suspects that something is going on and she's not exactly sure what it is. Um but Boyd, uh, she asked Boyd if they can put on the fire, and he says, I think I might have something better. And he uh, he digs in the floor and finds a uh, a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle that is one of the last surviving bottles from their warehouse fire. And that actually is our Food of the Week. God damn, woman, you only shoot people when they're eating supper. It is a uh, bottle of Pappy consumed uh under duress with your fiance uh, in a hunting cabin that you don't want to be in uh, is, is our uh, food of the week. 
week. Yeah. And uh and so there's there's this uh this this scene 